Well, I'm going to set up a new tent I got. Uh, it's part of the uh, replacement tent. I had kind of a cheaper tent that was for my uh, bug out bag for the home bag. See, I usually don't have a tent. I just have the shelter, which I'll show in uh, my car bug out bag. And it's usually the same tarp shelter that I actually carry in my EDC um, get home bag, which is the smaller, smallest version of the bug out bags. Uh, just because of the type of work I do, uh, and I'm, you know, usually 30, 40 miles, give or take, here and there, um, from my home. So I have everything I need. As you you seen when I showed in, in that get home bag. Well, the home bug out bag, the one that you uh, have in your house, that's the one you're going to grab when things are real bad and you have to jet, you know, jet and possibly on foot. Um, hopefully not on foot. You'll be able to throw that in with your in your car, and therefore you have the backup of your bug out bag in your car plus the home bag. And the home bag has all everything you possibly could need, like just anything and everything, which I will eventually go through what I have in mind. But what's the most important thing? I mean, food, water, shelter. So shelter is something that's paramount and should be attached to that home bag at all times. Now, mind you, um, if it's a really expensive tent and it's you can't have multiple tents, you know, or you could still have a tent that you're going to use on a regular basis, but always make sure you have it attached to that bag when you get home, you know? Uh, or maybe even just bring the bag with you, throw it in your car, I mean, it's up to you. Uh, but this, I always have a tent, and this is the newest one. Uh, this is the one I got. Uh, it's, it's the Marmot <clears throat> three-person. It's a three-season tent. And only five pounds, five ounces, and it, it really doesn't weigh much of anything at all. I'm going to set it up. I mean, you have to practice setting it up on different ways. I'm going to probably be using this all season, actually. I can't wait. I really wanted a four-season tent, but uh, unfortunately, Obama took that, <laughs> took that money away from me. As we've seen in my taxes rant video. Now let's uh, hook this up and see if we have all the pieces because I just got it a little while ago. And that's that.
All right, so this is the tent set up. Uh, I set it up pretty darn quick. And uh, comes with a, a netting that you can hang your stuff on. <clears throat> and it's not crazy roomy, you know. Uh, I can also, you know, you got that little window on this side. But it's good enough for two people. And if need be, three people. So, pretty cool. I'm happy on how quick it went up. Obviously, it's not exactly the best setup that I... <laughs> this is my very first. I like to see how quick I can set things up right off the bat. No, I didn't even... Uh, <clears throat> I didn't even look at the directions. So... So you can um, kind of tie up the sides and get dual uh, entries into the tent. Plenty of ventilation here and uh, to keep from condensation. And you can hook up a little um, area to stow all your stuff which comes with a net. And that's pretty much it. I just figured I'd show you guys an option of a type of tent and this is perfect this is you know a two person it's all I really need um, it comes with a footprint which a lot of times a lot of tents don't and it's also uh, sealed on the bottom um, to keep anything uh, any water from getting in so pretty cool I'm, I'm digging it can't wait to use it Can't wait to use it.